Any of you guys have parents that are immigrants? Okay, let's hear where your parents are from. Lebanon and Moldova. Okay, great. All of us, we have our own cultural identity. The Your Story, Our Stories program is new to the museum and what we're trying to do with this program is introduce students to immigration of the past and have them, through their own stories, connect to the present. When we went to the Tenement Museum, it was not just showing the apartments to us, it's telling the story behind each of the objects. What we want students to understand is that their own time, their own lives, are part of the unending narrative. Each individual story makes us the people we are. When the educator goes and visits them in their school, they review some of the objects they saw, and they get the idea that objects tell personal stories. Then the educator transitions to ask, do you have any objects in your home that tell an immigrant story? I actually made this bag, I stitched it, and then I collected that soil from, from the grounds in Dacia, you know, the summer house we had outside of the city. And when I was going to U.S., I actually had this on my neck like this, so I was entering U.S. carrying like a bag with the soil of Russia. That was kind of my ritual of transition, kind of, of passing from my homeland to U.S. Does it make you feel Russian? It was very nice for me to talk to Lydia, to reflect on my life as well and to, to explain to her what she is and where she's coming from. The students then work with the teacher to write an essay about the object they selected. They write and they rewrite and eventually they post the essay on our website. The final stage of the program is that the students return to the Tenement Museum, this time with their parents, and there's a kind of an exhibit. We want to basically send the message that your stories are just as important as the museum stories you saw when you first began this program. Going to the Tenement Museum has helped children understand their background they are recipients of their own stories. Now they are holding history in their hands. The program with PS 130 is a test for us. It's the first time that we've had this sustained an engagement with a single school, with a single class. Our hope is that this program will lead us to a model that, that's then infinitely reproducible. We know that every single New York City school child, and there are 1.1 million of them, has a story. So our website can hold 1.1 million stories, <laughs> and we're hoping to really be able to go out there and do this. Right now, the museum welcomes 55,000 students a year in school groups. These students represent the city's future. These students represent America's future. Our obligation is to let students see that it's in lives exactly like their own, and families and faces that they recognize that the American story is carried forward. That's what this program is about. It carries the American story into our time.